What is happening guys, Staff Sergeant Masiba here, also known as Art Chizzle on social media and welcome to another episode of US Army Basic Combat Training Mini Series, Your Future Starts Here. For today's video, we're going to show you the day-to-day -day life of what happens in basic combat training for the Army. What is a barracks? What is a barracks room? What does the barracks look like? Where do you sleep? Where do you prepare your gear? Where do trainees eat in Army basic training? What is a dining facility? And if you think about it, this is probably one of those times that you will be away from home, from your family, from your friends, from relatives, so pretty much everyone and also away from your cell phone and the internet. I understand it's given, life in basic training can be hard because you're away from everyone. But guess what? There's a special person that we call in the army, battle buddy, that will be there for you. You might ask, what is a battle buddy? One of the best things I've experienced in the US Army is having more than just a friend, a coworker or a classmate. I met people I can call family or in the US Army, we usually call each other battle, short for battle buddy. It doesn't matter where you're from, what color, race, gender, or whatever it is, because we take care of each other. That's all that matters. As long as you're wearing the same uniform, as long as you're an army soldier, you are my brother, you are my sister, I will take care of you a whole hundred percent. What we're showing you right now is the dining facility in Army Basic Training. This is also what a dining facility looks like in a regular base in the Army. A dining facility can be compared to a cafeteria in your school, in your college, or your place of work. Dining facilities are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and even on the weekends. Here they offer a variation of dishes, meals, different types of fruits, snacks, and pretty much everything that you can think of. And because you're in training, the dining facility will make sure that they serve high quality food to fuel you when you go to training. The only thing that you gotta watch out when you're at the dining facility while in basic training is to avoid the ice cream, avoid sweets, avoid the cakes. Because if your drill sergeant catches you eating these things, you're definitely gonna pay for it. While in basic training, you may not have that much time to yourselves because in basic training, you are gonna be sleeping in a bay. You will see a lot of bunk beds, and obviously, you're gonna be sleeping and living in these quarters for the next 10 weeks with your battle buddies that are going through training. Everyone wakes up at the same time, everyone showers at the same time, everyone eats at the same time, and everyone sleeps all at the same time. The reasoning behind this is because you are in training. You are a soldier in training, coming from the civilian life into the army. You may or may not have any strict discipline outside in the civilian life, but in the army, you have to learn what military bearing means. You have to learn what army professionalism and how to carry yourself as a soldier. This is the part where you will become a United States Army soldier. So you have to understand the level of discipline in the training, why we conduct this. Another thing that you should learn in army basic combat training is to value physical fitness. Once again, you are about to become an American soldier. And with that said, you have to be physically fit. You have to be mentally fit. Being a soldier, you will go through a lot of stress. But with a sound mind and a sound body and all proper training, you will be good, you will accomplish the mission. In Army basic training, physical training is conducted every morning. What you're looking at right now is a PT test, an Army physical fitness test. It consists of two minutes of push-ups, two minutes of sit-ups, and a two-mile run. It also varies from day to day. Sometimes you will go through obstacle courses. Sometimes you will be conducting combatives. And in the near future, you should expect changes because the Army Physical Fitness Test has slowly been changing. So be on the lookout for that. Now, we're about to share you the story of PFC Andrew Wynn, a U.S. Army basic trainer recruit from California. I'm Private First Class Andrew Nguyen. I'm Vietnamese and I'm from California, lived my whole life there. I wanted to join the Army mainly for financial reasons like school and to help out my family, but also I've had a really deep interest in military and military history. It all started with like video games and all that stuff and I kind of was the type of person who liked to take time to research what video games and movies got right and what they got wrong about the military. I do appreciate the defect food and the sweat from lifting up duffel bags and all that. It's a, it's a shared experience. We all went through it, so it's like a source of camaraderie and brotherhood. I know everyone in this bay, and I, I definitely plan on meeting them later on after all this is done. We actually are planning on taking turns visiting each other's home states. Best thing I learned is just Eat a good diet and 
what kind of workouts to do and never ever give up all the sweat all the pain even if you have muscle failure it's just in your head and you'd be surprised how much you'd get fit I could barely lift up my duffel bag I could barely do 10 push-ups like in one go but now I went from that and I'm doing 50 push-ups and I'm still skinny old me there's a lot of really nice MOS's that teach you very valuable skills for home so I really recommend looking at the skill sets you want another thing is the Army provides a lot of services, like free classes on just how to do things like etiquette, manners, even financial advice. So I recommend use all the resources you get from the Army. My best friend is my bunkmate Navarrete and my bunk neighbors Murphy, Kelly, and Lua. And they're all in that corner over there. And, you know, we always have nice conversations, sharing knowledge of our background, our experiences just cultivating a very lightly culture. Private Joshua Navarrete. I'm from Apple Valley, California. Well, I guess being around the same area, you know. We both love our favorite California exclusive burger joints. 25 and I'm a 25 uniform, so we're going AOT at Fort Gordon, yes. exact same place. If you're a sociable person, if you're like adequately social, then you're going to make a lot of good friends here. It's like a family. I could go to a really good school right now and have it all paid for with scholarships, but I knew I was frail and weak, and I didn't really want to just have like a personal trainer. I wanted some mental strength too, some backbone, some morality. So I thought the Army was like the perfect place to have that strong component, to be both strong and smart, so that utilize both aspects. You want to be strong and smart, which is, in my opinion, is the best combination you can ever have in life. It, it, the Army's the place for that. So that's just a little snippet of the life of a trainee in U.S. Army basic combat training. If you like this video, if you want to see more or any comments or ideas that you want to see in the following episodes, let us know in the comment section below. Once again, my name is Staff Sergeant Masibai, Art Chisel on social media. We will see you next week for the next episode.